Hello everyone, welcome back to Life is Indeed Strange. I apologize if you have a worrying, I'm just installing Windows on a laptop, it's fucking loud. This is exactly like life, this isn't very strange at all. Ugh, too much hair. Alright, what's going on? I skipped the on the previous episode because you probably would have watched it like yesterday if you're keeping up or maybe you're watching it all at once maybe you literally just saw what happened so okay so she's reading about time machines this is going to be like Metal Gear Solid where every single like mission has an intro and an outro scene mm -hmm. Wasn't that the title of one of the uh, Telltale games? So that's not Max, is it? Yes? Oh, I don't remember. It's been like a day since I've played it, I've already forgotten. So maybe I should have watched the uh, previously on. Get up! The sun's out and she's just waking up. I'm so jealous. Can't remember the last time I woke up. After the sun was already out. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Oh, hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics on. Chloe. No emoji. Don't be late, or I'll know time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room. On my way, you are evil 40 minutes or else. Mom. I don't even know if you get the water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either, mummy. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having cl Drink up. It's got electrolytes. It's got what plants need. Is that an idiocracy reference? I will definitely pay that. No smile. Take your power seriously. Um, okay, photos, books, sticky note. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. There's, there's no chance I'm reading all that. Fuck that. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Yeah. This is so insane. It sounds like this wormhole thing makes I would say that I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Alright, I'm not gonna read all that shit either. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on the truth. They're not. Story. Spoiler alert. Timetable. Mrs. Hoyda is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has Poor severe thing. depression. Poor thing. Shower supplies. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Don't hit them, you'll hurt yourself. Clothes. I hope you slept well. Christ, now, a bad joke. my Gucci shirt with a Vuitton jacket? Like now. Thanks, Sherry. I don't want to punch her in the face. Victoria, I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so ah. on it. Consider it done. Run. Bathroom? Is a bathroom not a shower? Let's talk to Depressy Face. Hey Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. And didn't know Can it? You please bring it back to my room this morning. I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Alright. Let's hop in the shower. 
Apologise I'm a bit stuffy today. Can't skip it, of course. Why would you be able to skip the shower scene? Oh, I don't like this. I definitely don't like this. School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. It looks like semen. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. If you rely on me for help, I'll watch you die. Or Max. I should have bagged her out. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> she wrote in lipstick extremely quick. It's quicker than I could write with a pen on paper. Is the sound still going or is it just me? I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Otter power? I'm so not there. I'm good to flow. Thanks. I'm good I'm to, to flow. Read Thanks. the thing next to it, thank you. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello, water. Sorry. I forgot. Whoops. What poster we got? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Hold another universe. I believe they call that your mother. <laughs> Where are my shower supplies? They have disappeared into the ether. Got it. Ugh. Rachel is a whore. Good to know. I also like it as just katesvid.com. It's, uh, it's on point. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. No book here. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Is there a stab cunt hey, in the I'm face button? The same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even... Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. How did he get in? My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. And nothing here. The fuck did you leave this book? Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. You could have, like, put it uh -huh, somewhere else. Easy book. You're mine. Computer's restarting. Sweet! Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. 
As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. That's Victoria. That's Brooke. Now I'm getting anonymous threats. It never ends. Kate. This hey, Kate. You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Jesus. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Fucking hell. So, in case you didn't read that, let me read that to you. Kate is all alone dealing with this video. Kate! Shit. Your father and I just I received a disturbing call from Principal owner. Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell will seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss the matter. Excuse me. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or your family, or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness, your mother. Your mother sounds like a cunt. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Yeah, no one cares. Okay. What looks we got here? Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Yeah, they look extraordinarily happy. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. This makes me sad. I don't want to be sad. Ouch. She left out damnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. In very nice writing. What a cunt. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. That is a pretty cute bunny. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. I got an achievement called Field of View. I had no idea that Kate ever postcard. hung out with Alyssa oh. and Stella. Look at the postcard, there we go. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John 1 5. Katie, you will always be my brightest light against the dark. Against the dark. Hugs and love pop. That's sweet. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Good thing it's not a male room. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Uh, okay. Poor Kate. She doesn't look... Uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. I really want to know what this Vortex Club thing is. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Doesn't sound like you. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank one. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? 
I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Good. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. This can only oh. end poorly. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. That's, um, extraordinarily depressing. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Oof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Jesus Christ. She's gonna end up getting murdered if I tell her to do the other one. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? I think I'm gonna leave it at that, because otherwise she's gonna get murdered. Oh, excuse me. Um, Chloe. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay breakfast. Weird emoji. No emoji. Right. How do we? Oh, fucking. Okay. That's run. Nope. The exit? That is the exit. It's the weird dude. Let's go say hello. Burb. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Because he smells like two. Uh, there's Samuel. Up early. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. Oh, I, I don't like that. Every morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. I don't like that at all. That's one thing I truly love about oh, I can't you. skip it. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. 
Nothing weird there except you saw Yeah, nothing weird in front of me at all. Could be a sign about your destiny. What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Well, that was... Oh, I don't like that. Who is this? Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice Piss to you. Piss on her. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment. So talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Uh-huh. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without team. Why would I rewind? Jesus Christ. Get a life. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Check it out. Warren is out and about already, too. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. She wants the D. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to just a pirate that, that I used to know. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma. Soon. Shoot him in the face. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape. Sure. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. I'm going to be late. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. Excuse me. I hate having the sniffles, cold, whatever. That bus looks extraordinarily rapey. I don't like it at all. Whoa. What we jam into, I don't know what this is. Even if it isn't an original track, I wouldn't know what it was. Hello, how do you do? Right, can we skip this? No. Let's 
gonna fall asleep and miss her stop, isn't she? Oh, it's noise next door in my nose, and I'm not gonna skip this fucking bus scene. It's the lit house, fam. I'm writing down titles for the videos. Because I like pen and paper. It was written on before, now it's an actual sign that's odd. Don't try to take it for it's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. <laughs> Mum will feed you. Someone bet I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Makes me feel 13 again. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. Holla. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Yeah, Justin. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. What Shouldn't you be are you even photos? saying? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor. He's right there. Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. Why is he the mayor yellow? First, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. What a snitch. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Alright, cunt. Speak to the weird lady. Hello there to oh you. Oh god. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Moving on. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Probably. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. <laughs> Kate Marsh, lovely. Flush before pissing on the floor. That graffiti has been here forever. Gross. <laughs> Rachel A owes me a BJ, so does your mum. Fire walk with me. I got another achievement compressed. Arcadia Gay sucks deck. Thank you, redneck poet. Oh. Journal entry. Okay, I don't care. Probably should, but I don't. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. It's not wrong, dude. Let's speak what do to you dude. Want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Says you with the shifty eyes. Just good lord. Thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our our mother. Okay. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. <laughs> Is that really a big thing? 
At least she was chilling in her room. Whoops. How do you know she was chilling in her room? You just said so. She might have been getting high or getting her spray cans ready or whatever. I'd like to think the best of her, but she's now in the Arcadia Bay Police database. Is she a friend of yours? I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee. And That's not work. strange at all. Let's just finish I talking to people. Feel like talking right now. I got to deliver a load of breakfast. To I, my I read stomach. that completely wrong. Over now. Uh, hello. Pardon moi. Oh, good you're lord. In my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Why are you being so rude? Because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, carrying two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? I mean, it's a fair point. Um, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. That was all kinds of uncomfortable, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.